Affectionate Arms is a local nonprofit organization that serves the elderly and disabled community here in the Crossroads. Many may not even be aware something like this is offered here and the center needs the community's help to keep its doors opened. I stopped by their center to get a closer look at how exactly they help out our community and the importance of keeping their doors open. Tucked away at 3802 John Stockbauer here in Victoria, you'll find Affectionate Arms. It's a place for individuals with disabilities and the elderly. And while you may not have heard of it before, it opened in the crossroads more than 30 years ago. The center's director, Mary Garcia, there since day one. Just like what the name says, Affectionate Arms, we embrace our clients that come here with love, respect, dignity, and of course with all the services that are so critical to their health. Affectionate Arms is that bridge when a senior still lives at home but doesn't quite need to go live in a nursing home. Many apprehensive about the thought of leaving home and living full time in a nursing home. We need to keep them out of the nursing home as long as possible. By coming, by coming here, they're able to meet all their uh, critical needs such as meals, uh, medical activities, interaction. With things like nutritious meals, games, activities, medical staff on hand, and mental stimulation, Affectionate Arms allows its clients to socialize and keep their minds sharp, something that can help curb elderly depression. Otherwise, many clients would be stuck at home with no social interaction. Once they get depressed, they lose interest in life. They really don't have uh, really nothing to do but look at the four walls, four walls or uh, they either have the TV as uh, entertainment or a companion, really, because that's all they have. Affectionate Arms is licensed to serve 59 clients and at its peak served up to 40 clients. But Hurricane Harvey and the COVID-19 pandemic hurt the center. Now they're down to less than 10 clients, which puts the center in jeopardy of closing. They need the public's help with exposure, monetary donations, and even volunteers. Mother Teresa says, uh, we, I can do things, you can do things, but together we can do great things. And so that's where the community comes, where people can uh, work together and help us to continue this program that is so vital to the adults and uh, adults that have disabilities. Garcia invites anyone interested to pop in to see just how important the center is to the people they serve. Affectionate Arms serves its clients Monday through Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. And Mayor Garcia tells us that while they were closed for eight months during the pandemic, that her clients would call weekly asking when they would open back up. And we're having what we're calling Affectionate Arms Giving Day, keeping the family together longer, which is scheduled for Friday, March 17th from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. The 25 News Now team will be live from Affectionate Arms to receive your donations. They need those monetary donations, office supplies, water, games, gift cards, cleaning supplies, and indoor and outdoor plants. Affectionate Arms can be reached at 361-578-9067. Their email address is affectionatearms at sbcglobal.net. We hope you'll join us.